e-commerce has been one of the fastest growing industry in the last decade. I mean, already the global e-commerce growth rate for 2021, it's sitting at 14.3%, which brings a total global e-commerce sales to approximately 4.9 trillion US dollars. Though this 14.3 growth rate is good, it's lower than that growth rate which we saw this e-commerce hit last year of about 27.6%. The reason why we saw this massive growth last year in this e-commerce industry was due to the government imposing the lockdown restriction all over the world. This boosted this e-commerce industry as people were going online to buy or to purchase their goods or even services. Though this growth rate of this e-commerce is said to be at 10.9% by 2022, I definitely think that it is still a industry or a sector which is said to do very well as people are becoming more comfortable like i said uh, doing transactions online or buying or purchasing uh, products online which is something that will continue to make this e-commerce boom even in the years to come now with all that most of the mega cap stocks have been underperforming the market this year and one of those that have been seriously hit it's an e-commerce stock that goes by alibaba so on today's video guys we'll be looking at this stock called alibaba with a ticker symbol baba as i believe that this stock is currently trading at a massive discount this stock is offering us a good opportunity for us to jump in because it is said to do very well so please do watch this video until the end because i definitely think that you will like what i have in store for you on today's video Otherwise, with all that, please know that I'm not a professional financial advisor. All that I'll be touching base on this video are just my opinions. And if you seek professional financial advice, you already know what to do. And that is, you need to go and consult the professionals. Now, to the benefit of those who don't know who Alibaba is, this is China or by some measure, the world's biggest e-commerce company. Now, this company also has other segments like cloud computing and digital media and entertainment and other innovation initiatives. But this online commerce segment is one of its main business as it constitutes 88% of its total revenue. And of course, this is as per the 2020 financial report. So online e-commerce is one of the main segments. So the other, these other segments that I just told you about, they are the ones that are constituting approximately 12% of the entire revenue of Alibaba. Otherwise, this stock on Friday when the market closed, it was trading around 205.94 US dollars and it has a 52 week low of 198 US dollars and a 52 week high of 319 US dollars. Now, this company has got a market cap of around 558 billion US dollars. Now, when looking at the current trading price of this Alibaba stock of 205.94 US dollars, which it closed at on Friday, we can all agree that this current trading price is still very far off from its all time high of about 319 US dollars, which is something that shows us the kind of opportunity that this stock is currently presenting to us the good thing about the, this 52 week low is that uh, it happened this previous week which is something that ought to bring you that appetite for you to go and have a look in on the stock further and check if you can put in some money now one of the reasons that these stocks is trading this low is simply because they missed their analyst q4 earnings expectations now, this is not the only thing dragging this stock down. As we all know that this week, one of the reasons that dragged not only this stock, but the entire Chinese stocks or the entire Chinese tech stocks was the DD issue, which was imposed or which was uh, announced by the Chinese government trying to put some restrictions on these Chinese tech stocks, which, like I said, is not only affecting Alibaba, but it affected all the Chinese stocks as you saw that even one of our favorite stocks like NIO were heavily impacted by this which is the reason we saw them dropping so heavily regardless of the good news that they reported this week. Otherwise enough about those uh, bad news that are dragging this stock down. On, in February of this year Alibaba indicated or they revealed that their adjusted earning 
uh, rose by over 30% for the Q3 of 2020, which is something that is truly amazing and ought to encourage you to stay long into this company because that 30% rose of the adjusted earnings made them report an EPS or an earnings per share of about 3.38 US dollars, which is a very good thing because it just shows that this company is becoming more and more profitable, which is something that attract investors into coming and invest to a stock. I mean, on that report, we saw that the revenue growth for this Alibaba grew by over 46% constituting to about 33.9 billion US dollars. Now, this, my friends, it's something that shows you that this is a very good stock as it is showing progress. Otherwise, still on the report that they released in on February, we read that their cloud computing revenue grew by over 50%, which constituted to about 2.5 billion US dollars of revenue in the Q3 of 2020, which is something that is truly amazing and shows you that even in this segment of cloud computing, it is generating good revenues for them. Guys, besides all this drama or, and all this negative news that we've been seeing on this stock or following this stock, this is a stock that is a very good track record, which is why I think that you ought to consider adding it to your portfolio because it is set to do very well and it has been doing so well in the previous years. I mean, for the past five years, this company, guys, has reported an annualized growth rate of about 29% and a sales growth rate of about 46%, which is why I'm saying this is a company with a very good track record. Now, this company is expected to earn 9.87 US dollars for the year 2021 and a 12.74 US dollars by 2023, which is like 29% which is something that also has to show you that this company is said to be more profitable even in the years to come, which is why we are even seeing that even its EPS or an earnings per share, it is said to grow or to grow by over 29%, which is something that guys has to open up your eyes or your mind to say that this is a stock that you probably need to consider. Otherwise, as seen on the screen, you'll notice that this company is currently having a strong buy, meaning that analysts are thinking or are indicating to us that from the current trading price that this stock is currently trading at, it is a very good opportunity for you to go and buy this stock, which is also something that also kind of like made me want to immediately start buying this stock. And you will also notice on the screen that out of 23 analysts, 22 are currently saying buy whilst only one is just saying hold. This company currently does not have any sellers or an analyst saying that sell this stock, which is a very th good thing which ought to encourage you guys to consider this stock or to go and do your own due diligence and check and see if you can add this stock to your portfolio. Otherwise, the forecasted price target for this Alibaba stock for the next coming 12 months are as follow. Now, as seen on the screen, you will notice that this company currently has a low price target of about 270 US dollars and an average price target of 297 US dollars with a high price target of 350 US dollars. Now, looking at the average price target for this stock, we can all agree that that is a very good 44% percent upside which is something that ought to encourage you guys to partake into adding this stock into your portfolio because it can or we can expect this stock to be trading around 297 us dollars or you can expect the growth or the returns on your investment to grow by over 44 percent in the next coming 12 months on this stock which is something that ought, like I said, to encourage you to consider looking onto this stock as it is set to do very well. Otherwise, me personally, I definitely think that this company or this the stock price of Alibaba can surpass that 297 US dollars in the next 12 months, which is why I'll be adding this stock to my portfolio. Otherwise, this Alibaba stock, it is set to do very well. Yes, it has its ups and downs here and there, but I definitely think that long term, 
this is a stock that you want or you would regret not having it in your portfolio because it is said to do very well otherwise with all that guys i make tons and tons of stock market investing videos and if you think that this video was amazing please don't forget to hit that like button if you are new please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that youtube can notify you every time i release a video otherwise that's all from me and i wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and god bless you all